time to tap tap, and the Valentine's update is just around the corner. It's a slow rollout, like up always. So while I have it, it may take up to a week for you to get it. Um, well, that's usually a cause for excitement. Um, don't get too excited about this Abyssrium event. Um, <laughs> I don't usually like to make negative Nancy videos, but uh, oh boy, is there a lot of negative Nancivity in this update. So the main change. Well, actually, they're all main changes, but uh, the main thing of this event, this Valentine's Day event, is that you have this platypus, and it gives you a platypus for free, and you only get one, um, and the, you send the platypus on explorations. It sounds fun, right? So every three hours, it's, you send it out, and you get rewards. So I got a bubble tip and enemy seed. So now that I have that, uh, I can plant a seed, and now I get some bubble tip and enemy seeds. And I'm, I'm, I don't think enemies have seeds; they're they're, they're animals. But uh, whatever. Um, so you can get coral from seeds, and you get eggs for fish. Um, so that, for one thing, that means you get a maximum of nine or ten for each fish, uh, which is a shame. It's not the smallest number. It's not the worst part of the update. Um, so you have to spend 500 roses uh, to send out the fish. Not too bad considering, you know, some of the other prices, right? So let's just send them out. See exploration reward. So there's, there's four levels of the thing and you have to complete everything. Um, you have to get about 30 items to, um, to get all of the things, I believe someone said. So that's 30 trips or 90 hours, um, or 30 sets of three hours. You know, obviously you're gonna sleep at some time, so it's not exactly 90 hours of real time. Um, so the, at novice level, you can't get everything, obviously. And uh, I, I guess you have to 100% complete every lower tier. And you can also get a random chance of getting a past fish, which would normally be a good thing, but I guess it, it can mean that you don't get a new fish instead so like you know you get a pink grouper which you might already have which i do instead of the batwing sea slug which is what i want uh, and you have no control over that you just have to send to explore it's basically a gosh upon or a loot box if you prefer um and as you can see to complete now you have to spend um it's more than two pearls per second so uh, pearls remember cost five dollars for 200 so to skip one single three hour platypus check it costs about eight dollars of real money. Um, yeah, that sucks. Uh, it's not. That's not even the the, the suckiest part. Um, I'm not even. I'm not even started. Um, so you can buy the ten dollar in app purchase fish. Um, is just basically a second platypus. Except it only takes an hour for this one. So already you can tell they really really want you to pay up. They want you to um, you know they want you to pay as much as you possibly can. They're going for the whales with this one. Um, and it's pretty gross, uh, not gonna lie. And um, we'll, we'll, I'm gonna show you, There's, it gets worse. So the, the one cool thing is that um, you do get this, uh, for some of the, the uh, roses, the currency is, um, you get, you get this little reef, and you get to build up the reef, and it actually is pretty cool, and you can place it around with the expand thing. Um, that's the one good part of this. So, as you can see, I've, I've waited six hours, and I have zero f event fish. I have the one that it gave me for free, and zero others. Um, and I can't do it any faster. There's no grinding for this event. It's just pure waiting. Um, you can't play the game more to get more things. Um, it's basically the... The, the toy train from last month. Imagine if you could only get the toy train, three things per day. Uh, that's all you could do, but you have to wait three hours between each. Uh, that's basically what this event is. Um, this, the sad thing is, the fish are good. The fish are good. I like the fish. There's the batwing sea slug. There's no hidden fish, by the way, so don't bother asking. Um, they're not hidden. You just have to level up the platypus and you have to get them randomly. It's loot boxes. It's it's Star Wars Battlefront 2 Abyss Dream Edition. Um, yeah, trying <laughs> very hard to be calm and not shouty. Um, the, the fish are good, like I said. The maroon clownfish, a little boring. We have enough clownfish. Um, a pair of knobbly seahorses, which... That sounds like some sort of British vulgar insult. You knobby seahorse. Uh, but th those are cute. Those are cute. Uh, the yeti crab. Uh, th that's neat. 
I like the Yeti crab. And they, they kind of, they're bound to the coral reef. They kind of like hang around on the reef, which is neat. We've, we, we've wanted them to be little critters that kind of hang around on the ground like real lobsters do. I mean, lobsters swim as well. But it'd be neat to have things, so it's nice to do that. This guy, this guy's my favorite. This is this is the one thing that still makes me excited about this event. The Mimic Octopus looks so cool. He's got camouflage. He's in a little thing. I don't know if that's like a hydrothermal vent or just like a little cave thing. But he's really cute. Um, there's the platypus, which we got. The platypi have like little beaver tails, I think, don't they? Like, isn't the tail a different color? Anyway, you get a platypus. You can only get one platypi, which is a shame. Um, you can you can buy the one for ten bucks. By the way, don't buy it. Um, I, I this is gonna sound rude, but I really have to recommend that if you care about like decency and treating your customers right, I have to say you need to not buy things from Abyssrium until uh, they fix this event and realize what they screwed up. And I would say don't watch ads. Um, don't monetarily support Abyssrium while they're doing what they're doing. Um, Th that might sound extreme, but we'll get we'll get to there, okay? Uh, let me just show you the last thing. Uh, like I said, the fish are good. So I'm not saying these fish are so bad that we have to boycott them. It's It gets a lot worse. Um, so these are the pygmy right whales. Uh, these are the cuties you saw, you probably saw on, if you follow them on Facebook, they shared a video of these two. So they kind of swim as a pair. And um, like I said, these are neat. We had the right whale dolphin, so of course they had to have the right whale. Whale, right? Whale. Uh, <laughs> so, um, the, the fish are good, the corals are good. Uh, I don't like this waiting three hours thing. Like, there's no gameplay here. You just wait. It's just a gosh upon that you wait three hours for. Um, I don't think there are duplicates, so I think it is a little bit better than most gosh upons, because, I mean, at least I think. I don't think there's duplicates, so, like... I don't know if when it levels up, if it brings more than one item back. I assume it does not. But no one's played it enough yet to know. Because it, it just came out for the test people, like I said before. Um, it, it'll take several days for it to filter to everybody. They do these staged rollouts. It's stupid. Uh, so, let's get to the worst part, shall we? Oh, boy. So, the thing about Abyssrium in events is that you... Um, Oh, ignore the, the countdown timer. The, the, this game is so buggy. This is why it's so hard to for, it's so hard to give them the benefit of the doubt because every update it's bugged all to heck. But it says the Valentine's event is only gonna last two days. Ignore that. That's a bug. They've they did that before with the sea otter. It's just a bug. Um, but it, uh, yeah. Anyway, so the thing about the events is you get these currencies when you tap on fish, but you only get one, and that sucks, right? So. The way that events, you really make the events happen is you cast Song of the Moon and that multiplies it by the amount of your Song of the Moon. So I've got level 21 Song of the Moon and so that multiplies by 25 times. Even if you only have level 1 Song of the Moon, that's 5 times. So you get 5 times every tap, right? That's great! So, so you get 25 times more when you tap... Wait, one rose. One rose. One rose? Yeah. Song of the Moon? Uh, it doesn't work anymore. And it's not a bug. They posted on their Facebook. Um, they posted this message about how they're trying to make it fair for everybody. And blah, 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 And they're rebalancing things. We should understand there are going to be complaints, but we're going to ignore them. Um, their Facebook posts. It, it sucks. Um, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. So Song of the Moon doesn't work anymore. And that's by design. Um, Spirit of Life doesn't work either. So if you pay 100 gems to try to double, uh, don't bother. Doesn't work. Doesn't work at all. Um, even worse, after this event, so every in every Abyssrium event, the currency rolls over. So after their anniversary events, what I did was I saved up a bunch of currency because, dang, the anniversary event costs like 300,000 candy total. So I just saved up about that much um, because, I mean, hey, <laughs> I don't want to have to grind that when I'm on a time limit. So, you know, I, I figured I'd prepare. Uh, at the end of this event... Your currency goes away. There will be no more carryovers. That was like the one really cool thing. Like most mobile games don't let you carry over the currency. And Abyssrium was cool because you could you could kind of stockpile and pick which events you want to spend your stuff on. No more. If you spent hours, days, weeks farming this dumb virtual crap to buy little fish with, number A, 
You can't use it in this event. All your stockpile, it's garbage. It is complete waste. You wasted your time. You wasted your time. I wasted my time. We all wasted our time. Because our stuff is garbage. And at the end of this event, it's going away. It's going in the goddamn dumpster. Okay? It's, uh, I even got an image. Uh, let me, I think I still have this. Yeah. I got this bug. Where, where'd it go? Oh, come on. Uh, so I got this bug where it said, oh, the event is ending soon. So we give you, we give you this message. All event currency will be converted to a vitality when event ends. And it gave me a hundred gems. Very generous. Ten ads worth of gems. Um, and yeah, the, like I said, there's a Facebook, there's a post on Facebook. I'll link to it in the description. Um, that confirms that this is not a bug, this is not, you know, a maybe situation. They announce this, this is what's happening. Um, they're throwing all your work in the garbage. And it's basically without any kind of further, like, warning. Because all of these roses, I can't do anything with them. Uh, you can't buy fish with the event currency. You can only spend 500, which is, you know, not very much, to, to send out the platypus. So, all of your currency is already wasted. Uh, just because they haven't thrown it away yet doesn't mean it's useless, um, for the most part. The only nice thing they did is that receive rose, uh, you, you watch a short, you, the ad, the ad for currency gives you 100. I'm sorry, I'm so angry, it is hard to talk. I am trying very hard to not get very shouty. It is, it requires some mental fortitude. Um, like I said... I really have to recommend that you do not watch those ads or any ads in Abyssrium until uh, there's some changes made. And definitely don't buy the Nimble Platypus because you know what? Um, this sucks. This is player hostile. This is garbage. Uh, this is some of the worst like free to play ness that I've ever seen. Uh, I always liked Abyssrium because it was fairly light. And they've been getting harder and harder on the sales lately. Um, they introduced pearls to try to get you to spend more money. They keep trying to add ways that you spend money. And um, reducing ways that you have fun without spending money. And this event is just the culmination of all of that. Uh, it's just designed It's designed to give you a peek at the fun. But if you actually want the fun, you gotta pay for it. And not like in a demo way. It's like, I'll waste your time until you give me money. And it's... It's everything I hate about mobile game design put into one, which is such a shame because the original Abyss Room, when it released, it was the exact opposite. It was like, wow, this is a free-to-play game. This is not super exploitative. It's got the $100 in-app purchase, which even at the time, I really hated. I still do. Uh, I still think that's really gross. Um, but you didn't really need it, and it was, it was okay. It, I'm not going to say it was the most ethical free-to-play ever, but it was certainly above average. This, this sucks. This, this is awful. Um, and I'm not gonna watch any ads, and I'm not gonna buy any in-app purchases for sure. Um, and what you need to do is message them on Facebook. They have a Facebook post. You can react to it. But the thing is, I don't think they read. They're, they never reply to the comments. And I'm pretty sure they don't read the replies on their Facebook. I don't think they read uh, the community posts on their Facebook. What they do read is direct messages. So either email them, you can click that gear menu and it'll give you a support inbox thing. Um, you can send them an email through that if you don't have Facebook. Or send them a direct message on Facebook. They do read it. Um, let them know. Be polite. Be be angry like I am. I am angry. But I'm not swearing. I'm I'm calm. I'm cool to drive, man. I'm, I'm calm. Maintain your zen. But tell them this is exploitative, this is gross, this is a very good reason to stop playing a, a dumb game about fish. It's, 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 it's all it really is. It was a really good dumb game about fish, but <laughs> at some point it's not worth it anymore. And I think, I think they found that point. I think they found that breaking point. And they want to break us over that point. And that sucks. That's right, Parker, it sucks. You tell him. So, <laughs> I know I'm gonna get some angry comments on this video. Um, a lot of people on Facebook apparently hate me because I complain that the game has bugs and has really hilariously bad translation issues, but honestly, this dwarfs 
all of that. This is extremely bad, and I gotta risk some hate comments. I gotta, I gotta take a stand and be like, hey, this does not deserve your money. Uh, if they step back from this, like patron, like uh, I'm okay with a company that learns from their mistake, but if this is just how things are gonna be, I think I'm gonna have to stop playing. I know that mean that would mean no guide, and that would make a lot of people upset. But I can't support a game like this. Um, I can't. I can't knowingly uh, make guides that uh, results in people playing this game more. Uh, I won't take my guide down or anything. As a principled stand, I'm tempted, but um, my my philosophy is information should always be kept as long as it's not you know malicious, you know, attack stuff. So I, I keep all my old videos, even the crappy ones. I've got some crappy old videos I don't like, and I'm kind of embarrassed and I kind of hope you don't watch from like almost literally 10 years ago. Uh, I was not as good at videos back then. But I want those videos up there because you know what? Maybe those videos mean something. They may not mean something to me, but maybe they mean something to somebody else. And I don't want to remove that information from the world. So I won't take down my guide, but if this is how the game is going to be, I, I, don't, I don't think I can update it anymore. Um, I'm going to post the update for this Valentine's Day event. <laughs> Not that there's any goddamn information that's worth reading. It's just random garbage. Like I said, this is, this, there's no skill involved here. The reason I made the guide is so you could have the knowledge and learn and, and the skill to you know enjoy the game more, to get the thing that you want to do. I really like that about this game is that there's you know there's the hidden things there's there's kind of uh, there's a little bit of a strategy to how you raise your vitality there's just enough in there to kind of learn and feel like you're doing things right it's not just totally random it's not just mindless tapping it's not just mindless grind or waiting but this this event it's the definition of mindless grind and waiting and to top this all off there's only eight fish in the new thing. There was 20 fish in the Christmas event. We went from the best event that they've ever done to the worst by far. Uh, I complained about the bugs and the localization and that seems so trivial now. This, I would take a year's worth of bugs in a single update over this crap. And it's such a shame because I do want the fish. Like they can make a good fish but what is what is the point when everything else is bad? I can't I can't support this business model. I, I really can't. I I gotta draw the line somewhere. I like to think of myself as a principled person. And I I have to request that you watch this video, take a stand. At the very least, send them a message on Facebook. Let them know this isn't okay. I really strongly would urge you to not spend money, biggest thing, but also not watch ads. I know that seems silly, but that is how they get money. Uh, you are still funding them if you watch their ads. Um, I don't, I don't begrudge them for making money, but it's how it's how they do it. It's okay to give a dev money for doing good things. It's not okay to give them money for doing bad things. That's why buying loot boxes. If you buy loot boxes in Star Wars Battlefront 2, you're a jerk. I'm sorry. You're, you're harming games as a medium. You're harming that game itself. You're harming the other players of that game. Uh, at a certain point, you have to take a stand. Uh, at this point, I gotta say, you gotta take a stand. This, this isn't even fun. There's some of the best fish they've had in an event, but it's still not fun because everything about the event hates you. It wants you to waste your time. It wants to throw away the candy that you've spent possibly months gathering. And all of this out of out of nowhere, out of nowhere, it's so player hostile. I I can't stand it. I uh, <laughs> I am honestly so angry right now. Um, I don't even know what to say. I was gonna record two other videos on this game just today and show you some neat tricks. I, I can't do that anymore. Uh, I can't. I can't contribute to this game's popularity anymore. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. This this is a bridge too far. I'm Sir Tap Tap. I hope this isn't my last Abyss Room video. I hope they come back. I'm not 
well, I am, but I'm not so vengeful that I'm not, you know, so spiteful that I want to see them, like, you know, fail over this. I want to see them improve and, and stop doing this. And I think if people are loud enough, they will. But if this is just how things are going to be, uh, I might be done. I'm sorry. <laughs>